navigating. Um, that word is assistant, which basically means like helper. Uh, is my assistant, Mr. Tushman, is a dear a teacher of the middle school. Mom, ex uh, explain it. Do they call you Mr. T? I asked, which made him smile. Thank you, Jason. Okay, so the discussion question is, what does Mr. Tushman's desk say about his character? So, um, Vetland, what do you think? Uh, well, let me think. Um, scare me sometimes. Mm-hmm, that's all right. Um, Oh, well, I think <laughs> I can't get sure. It's okay. Um, You can just guess if you like. Mm. Uh, oh, well, I think um, Mr. Tashma takes the um, well, he's a pretty good principal of the school, and there are many child like him. That's good. Um, yes, I also think that many students like him because of the little drawings and paintings that they make him. Um, Sally, what do you think? Uh, well... Maybe, um, I, let me think, maybe Mr. Tashman will say mm, his, his, his just look well, but others are fine. I, I, I'm just not sure. That's all right. Um, Wendy, what do you think? Wendy? Okay. Um, Alice, what do you think about this question? What do you think um, Mr. Tushman's desk says about his character? Uh, Mr. Tushman, Tushman's desk said Mr. Tushman is very cool. And um, uh, it has many cool stuff on his desk. I agree, Alice. I think that the um, Rubik's Cube is also cool. Okay. I think we can go to the next slide now. Okay. Uh, Chris? Uh, can you just, like, read the... Uh, do you know who Mr. T is? He answered. I pity the fool. Uh, he said in a funny tall voice, like he was imitating someone. I had no idea what he was talking about. Anyway, no, said Mr. Touchman, shaking his head. No one called me Mr. T. Uh, so I have a feeling I'm caught a lot of other things I don't know about. It's not so easy to live with. You know what I mean. Here I have to admit I totally loved because I know exactly what he meant. My mom and dad had a t-shirt called Miss Fox, I said. <laughs> Uh, just before we go on, it's a question. 
uh, at the slide when he says, do you know who Mr. T is? Uh, Mr. T refers to like a famous American actor. And one of his like very famous lines that he says is, is I pity the fool. So when uh, Mr. Toshman says, like, I pity the fool, he's uh, referencing um, or like pretending to be the, um, the famous actor, Mr. T. So that's what that means. Um, but the discussion question for this slide is, what do you think Mr. Toshman means when he says his name is not easy to live with? So, uh, Jason, what do you think Mr. Toshman means? Um, I don't know. Uh, um, I don't know. Okay, yeah, that's all right. These questions are pretty hard. Uh, Vicky, do you have any idea okay. what Mr. Tushman means? Well, I think his name is similar to Cashman, which means pick the rubbish. So. Oh, you think his name is sounds similar to Mr. Trashman? Okay, maybe. Jason, did you think of something? Is it, or is that what you were were you trying to say something? Okay, that's that's alright. Wendy, what do you think Mr. Tushman means when he says his name is not easy to live with? Just say what you think. There's no real, like, real right or wrong answer. Take a guess. Okay, that's all right. Uh, so I think what Mr. Tushman is referring to when he says his name isn't easy is that uh, his na last name Tushman, or like Tushman, is uh, similar to the word Tushy, which like But August, the last sentence, he says, like, my mom and dad have a teacher called Miss Butt. And Mr. Tushman also, like, his last name also can mean, like, Butt. So that's why he says it's not uh, easy to live with. So maybe he gets made fun of as well. Um, Summer, do you think you could read about half of the page for us? Mm. Augie said mom, but Mr. Tushman laughed. Now that's bad, said Mr. Tushman, shaking his head. I guess I shouldn't complain. Hey, so listen, August, here's what I thought we would do today. Is that a pumpkin? I said, pointing to a framed painting behind Mr. Tushman's desk. Augie, sweetie, don't interrupt, said mom. Thank you, Summer. Um, Sally, do you think you could read the second half? You like it, said Mr. Tushman, turning around and looking at the painting. I do, too. And I thought it was a pumpkin, too. Until the student who gave it to me explained that it is actually not a pumpkin. It is, are you ready for this A portrait for me of me? Now, August, I ask you. Do you really look that much like a pumpkin? No, I answered. So I was thinking, yes. Something about the way he cheeks puffed out uh, when his bound made him look like a Jacob's lantern. Just as I thought that, it all occurred to me how funny this was. Cheeks, Mr. Tushman. And I started laughing a little. I shook my head and covered my mouth with my hand.
Mr. Tushman smelled like he could read my mind. Thank you, Sally. So, um, the discussion question is, how do you think Augie feels about Mr. Tushman? Um, William, how do you think Augie feels? Um, uh, maybe he feels uh, Mr. Tashman is humorous. I agree, William. Thank you. Um, Vetland, what do you think? Um, well, I think, um, Augie feels, um, I think uh, in Augie's eyes, Mr. Tashman is, uh, um, considerate, is very considerate, yes. Thank you, Sally. I mean, Vetland, sorry. Um, Jason, what do you think? Jason, um, can you hear me? Um, okay, guess not. Um, Tiger, what do you think? I think uh, Augie thinks Mr. Tushman is very uh, similar to him and because uh, he and Mr. Tushman both both be mocked by others by by their appearance and their name for their appearance and their name. I thank you. Um we can go to the next slide. Now. Uh, Vicky, can you just read the first paragraph, please? I was about to say something, but then all of a sudden, I heard a voice outside the office, his voice. I'm not ex expressing when I say this, but my heart literally started beating like I just run the longest race in the world. The laughter I had inside just poured out of me. Okay, yeah. Um, just saying this word is not exaggerating. I'm not exaggerating. Or like, it means so it's not like making it some big deal with it. It's uh, just like uh, she's just saying the truth and not really trying to add any like, um, to the word, to like the circumstance. <clears throat> uh, Wendy, can you read the next paragraph, please? The scene is when I was little. I never minded making new kinds because all the kids I met were really little too. What's cool about the really little kids is that they don't say stuff to try to hurt your feeling, even thought sometimes they do say stuff that hurts your feeling, but they don't attract the... They don't actually? No. They actually know what they are saying, big kids thought. They know what they are saying, and what, and that is Definitely not far for me. One of the reasons I grew my long hair last year was that I like how my buns cover my eyes. It helps me block out the things I don't want to see. Okay, yeah, thank you, Wendy. Uh, 
Sally, can you finish this up, please? Mr. Uh, Mr. Garrick knocked on the door and poked her head inside. There, uh, there are, uh, they're here, Mr. Tashman, she said. Who's here? I said. Thanks, said Mr. Tashman to Mr. Garrick. August, I thought it would be a good idea for you to meet some students who will be in your home room this year. I figured they could take you around the school a bit, show you the lay of the land, so to speak. Okay, yeah, thank you. Um, so just before we do the discussion question, can I turn on the cameras? Just easier for us to know you're paying attention. Um, but, uh, Jason, can you go ahead and answer this question? Why does August get so nervous when he hears children laughing? Uh, 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 I don't know. Okay. Uh, Tiger, what do you think? Last August, uh, August think that the children would uh, come inside and laugh at his appearance. Yeah, actually, that's what I think as well. I think because he looks different, when people laugh, he just kind of assumes they're laughing at him. So, uh, yeah, thank you for that answer. Uh, we're running a bit on. So let's just move on to the next slide. Uh, yes. Okay. Um, Alice, do you think you could read half this page super quick? Um, yes. I don't want to make any... And, uh, I say to mom, Mr. Tosh, Mr. Toshman was suddenly right in front of me. His hand on my shoulders, he leaned down and said very softly in my ear, It'll be okay, August. There's a, these are nice kids, I, pro I promise. You are going to be okay, Augie. Mom whispered with all her mind. Before she could say anything else, Mr. Tushman opened the door to his office. Come on, come in, kids, he said, and in walked two boys and a girl. No, none of them looked over at me or mom. They stood by the door looking straight at Mr. Tushman. Like their lives depended on it. Thanks so much for coming, guys. Especially since, since school doesn't start until next month, said Mr. Toshman. Have you had a good summer? Thank you, Alice. Um, William, do you think you could finish this page? Uh, okay. All of them nodded, but no one said anything. Great, great, said Mr. Tushman. So guys, I wanted you to meet August, who's going to be a new student here this year. August, these guys have been students at Beecher Prep since kindergarten though of course they were in the lower school building but they know all the ins and all outs of the middle school program and since you are all in the same home homeroom i thought it would be nice if you go got to know each other a little before school started okay so kids this is august august this is Jack Will. Jack Will looked at me and put out his hand. When I shook it, uh, he kind of half smiled and said, 
pay and look really fast. Thank you, William. Um, Vicky, do you think you could answer this discussion question? Um, why does Jack look down really fast? Mm. Well, I think he is shocked about August's appearance. Um, yes, thank you, Vil um, thank you, Vicky. I agree. Um, Vetland, what do you think? Um, well, I think, uh, um, sure about this. Um, it's okay. Maybe, um, maybe, uh, it's a little taller than, um, than uh that's a guess uh he could be looking down because augie's shorter than him uh let's move on okay okay <clears throat> so this is a bit of a short page so jason how about you just read the entire page please julie is sad Mr. Tushman, hey, uh, uh, hey, said Julian, and did the same exact thing as Jack will, uh, to my head, first, a uh, smile look down fast. Uh, and a uh, charge lot said Mr. Churchman. Charge lot had a glottest he uh, here I have ever seen. She didn't uh, shake my hand, but gave me a quick little wave and smiled. Hey, August, nice to meet you. She said, hi. I said, look down. She, uh, looking down, she was wearing a brand, a brand, green uh, cross. So, so Mr. Cushman putting his hand together in a kind of slow clap. What I thought you guys could do is take August on a little tour of the school. Maybe you could stare on the third floor. That where your home room bus is going to be room uh 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 three uh, three hundred and one. I think Mrs. G is a uh, room three hundred and one, Mister. Uh, this is, uh, um, Garcia. Garcia called out from the other room. Yeah, thank you for that. That was that ended up being pretty long as well. Uh, Sally. Uh, what do you think that August oh. felt about Jack and Julie? Well, um, maybe he feel confused because he didn't know why they're looking down, and maybe, uh, in another, maybe he will feel nervous because he didn't know whether he did something wrong or not. Yeah, I think that was a really great answer. If I'm meeting someone and they keep, 
they hand, I would be a little bit nervous as well. Uh, Summer, what do you think? And like, maybe you can also tell us why you think Jack and Julian are both looking down. I think you did that last time, but tell us what do you think August felt about them both looking down? Mm, maybe he felt sad because Jack and Julian um, saw something that is not normal on him. Yeah, I think because I think that his face is uh, unusual, and I think August is sad by that. Thank you for your answer. Yeah, I think we can, yeah. Okay. Uh, Vetland, you could read on um, half this page. Room 301, Mr. Tashman loaded, and then you can show August the uh, science lab and the computer room. Then work your way down to the library and the performance space on the second floor into the cafeteria or course, should we take him to the music music room asked julian good idea yes said mr touchman august do you play any instruments no i said it wasn't my favorite subject on account of the fact that i don't really have ears well i do but they don't exactly look like normal ears well you is it you may enjoy seeing the music room anyway, said Mr. Tushman. We have a very nice uh, selection of uh, perse uh, what's that? That's, um, percussion. Uh, percussion instruments. August, you've been waiting to learn to play the drums, Mom said, trying to get me to look at her. But my eyes were covered by my bangs as I started at at a piece of old gun that, oh gee, that was stuck to the bottom of Mr. Tushman's desk. Um, thank you, Vetland. Um, Tiger, do you think you could finish this page? Yeah. Great. Okay. Okay. So why don't you guys get going, said Mr. Tushman. Just be back. Uh, just be back here in. He looked at mom. Half an hour, okay? I think Mom nodded. So, is that okay with you, August? He asked me. I didn't answer. Is that okay, August? Mom repeated. I looked at her. I wanted her to see how mad I was at her. But then I saw her face and just nodded. She seemed more scared than I was. The other kids had started out the door, so I followed him. Susan, said Mom. Her voice sounding a little higher than normal. I didn't answer her. Thank you, Tiger. Um, Alice, do you think you could answer the discussion question? Why does August's mom look more scared than August? Well, maybe August's mom is scared about Aggie's angry or sad. Uh, yes, that's a good answer. Um, we are running low on time, so, um, okay, I'm gonna skip a few of these questions. I think we could just go over, like, one or two. We can just, like, answer the question and then go into the homework. Yeah, okay. Okay. So, how do you think Jack, Jack will, Julian, and Jet will treat August after they're away from their team? Um, Summer, what do you think? Hmm, I think they will treat August uh, nicely because uh, the pr um, Mr. Tashman said that they are all nice kids. Um, okay, thank you, Summer. That was a good answer. Um, Sally, what do you think? Well, uh, I think I agree with Summer. I think they will treat, uh, they will treat, treat August, uh, fine. 
because um maybe maybe um most of the story are kind of uh of positive so so i think they are going to treat august well okay thank you sally so um chris yeah okay that was a really long chapter uh good job for getting yeah. through all of it um this week's this week's homework is please tell us about your first day somewhere um this could maybe be your first day at a new school or the, your first day in a new house or first day you went to a different country um any first day somewhere and please tell us what happened or maybe how you felt on the first day uh but other than that that's the end of our lesson and thank you for joining today and uh, we hope you'll be back next week. Thank you. Uh, you guys are free. Good. Night. Good night. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Okay. Okay. Um, Wait, is that wait, Rebecca? Is that you from like sixth grade? Yeah, sure. Oh my God, you went. What happened to you and Amber? Hmm. To and Amber. I don't know. Uh, I thought you two were like best friends in sixth grade. You guys like talk to each other every day. Uh, 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 we used to talk sometimes. Okay. Um, so do you want to do the attendees or do you want to do like the other one? I'm supposed to be spectating. So I don't know what's no, going I'm, on. I'm talking to I'm talking to Chris. Oh, my bad. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'll do the attendees right now, and then I'll can you start on the reflection. I'll work on the reflection after. Should we put Vivian because she didn't talk yeah, like that Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. Doing like uh, after class things. Okay. I'll just find it. Wait, Chris, so you live in Australia? Right now? Yeah. So you live in Australia? No, I live in Atlanta. I can't do uh, I live in You remember, right? Oh, uh, uh, you know my name, Doug. Here, McKinnon. Don't know who that is. Oh, uh, <clears throat> dang! Isn't Westminster like really hard? I think Lambert's really hard. Don't, don't like the people take like twenty six APs. Are you serious, Lambert? Hooch. Oh. Well, so if I told me I can see my own and like uh is it like or not? Why 
and y'all like honestly uh this was my first class so it's not hard it's like, um you know, did a good job bro thanks how long have you been doing legit teacher like, you be saying like semis and fours and all that Sonification. Yeah, I feel you. My respect. Oh, good. Yelling. 